bad breathing habits can have a negative effect on health and cause a multitude of symptoms, which are often subtle and may be classed as medically unexplained symptoms. In this video, I'll briefly explain the background physiology and the types of symptoms that may occur. Changes in your breathing in response to stress are normal. Stress triggers will differ between individuals and may change due to life events. The stress response stimulates our autonomic nervous system and releases adrenaline, which boosts heart rate and respiratory rate. This is an appropriate reaction if you have a physical task at hand, but it's less helpful if you're stuck in traffic or stuck behind a desk. Either way, your breathing rate increases and then reduces again. But in some people, for some reason, the breathing rate reduces but fails to return to baseline, setting up a negative cycle of over-breathing, often referred to as hyperventilation, which is shown in the diagram here. A subtle pattern of over-breathing is often undetectable by both yourself and those around you. Remember, we're not talking about panic attacks and gasping for air here, just a subtle rise in your breathing rate or change of pattern. The multitude of potential symptoms shown in the diagram here mostly occur because your carbon dioxide, CO2, levels decrease. With continued hyperventilation, part of your brain's monitoring system, aptly named your respiratory center, will adapt to the lower CO2. This is not helpful as the symptoms shown will persist, causing anxiety, which maintains or even worsens the disrupted breathing pattern. Even if you don't have any of these symptoms, you might still be breathing inefficiently and any athlete who is unaware of this will significantly hinder their performance. Breathing pattern disorders are common. To help you identify hyperventilation or a pattern disorder, I'll cover some of the elements of assessment in the video shown on the screen here. Also to be precise, the respiratory center that I mentioned earlier is in the medulla oblongata and pons in the brainstem between the spinal cord and the brain. That's it for this video. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment below.